by a cartridge. This is uh, to be installed for the GC because uh, we, as we know, we have uh, helium gas, compressed air gas, uh, and some of uh, the GC that have hydrogen. Uh, I mean, that using FID will use uh, hydrogen. So we need to install the gas purifier or filter uh, in order to protect our GC. So today I'm going to uh, uh, do some unboxing. This is actually a uh, uh, renewable purifier, purifier cartridge or filter that we just purchased from uh, EGLAN. This is from EGLAN. Okay. Uh, the part number is actually G34406003. That's the part number. Okay, so today I will show you uh, the unboxing. So this is this is new. Okay. This is uh, the metal bracket. These are some parts. Uh, this is just something. We have that. So let's arrange it here. So now we open. Operation guide, you can see there. Okay, just put it here. And then I keep the, the, the box is empty now. The box is empty, so I keep it. So this is going to be placed elsewhere. Okay, now so this is the gas purifier, renewable, renewable gas purifier system. Okay. G34406003 new cartridge. It shows there uh, for oxygen, if it's green color, it's good. For water, if it's uh, blue color, it's good. But then when both of them turn to gray and brownish color, it's, uh, it's depleted already. So we need to change the cartridge. So that's the, that's the color, okay, the indicator. Okay, so now uh, let me just unbox this. There are actually three main parts inside here, which is one is the gas purifier, the first one. The second part is this one, which is the base with nuts and the rules for connection with the gas purifier. And then the other one is this one, which is the, the, the mounting base. Okay. So now I just... Uh, I just put it here. What I want is actually only this one. Hmm. Because I want to mount it afterwards. So now I just okay I put this further for, for a while. So I need to connect this first. This actually depends how you want to configure it. Uh, so it depends on the space that you have, how you want to arrange it. So I'm going to arrange it like this. So I'm just I'm now putting the base with nuts, ba the base uh, together with the mounting. So later on we will combine this with the gas purifier. tighten it so I don't know where's my uh, screwdriver so I just use this for temporary solution okay that's nice so now later on we need to put this slot this into this is the manifold 
so we we will slide this later there but now we need to open this uh this nut okay so to open it we need to have the flyer you cannot do this with your bare hands or fingers i tried before and it took me two three hours to do it still i cannot do it So you need to use some tools. Okay, now it's done. So we just connect. Okay, before that, we need to remove this cap. Okay, this is a check valve. Be careful, this is uh, quite sharp. It's mentioned in the operation guide as well as the MSDS. So you need to be careful. Okay, so now it's, it's, uh, it's going to be fixed there. So now I control this. So I tighten this and it will merge together. Okay, tighten it. Off. Uh, don't really over tighten because it will damage the the f the, the the trap. So just nice. So uh, okay, I think that's that's fine. So now it's already uh, fit together. So remember, this is uh, this this gas purifier is actually for my hydrogen gas. So this will be the inlet uh, of the hydrogen gas inlet. So you need to remember that the maximum pressure is 14 bar. Or 200 psi, so they they they, uh, they also prepare the fittings. This is one eight, and also the furrows. Okay, the furrows and the fitting are there. So in case you don't have it, so they have provided it. And then the outlet, this one will go. Okay, this one the inlet is from the is the upstream from the gas tank. So this is the outlet, which is a downstream towards I or into the GC. Okay, so now let's put it the GC. Ah, so if, if, as you can see here, I already have, I already installed uh, helium, gas purifier for helium, and then for compressed air, and this one is now is meant for hydrogen. So I will later connect it uh, to the fittings and also the GC. Okay, I think that's all. If you have any question, then you can. Uh, feel free to contact me or my colleagues here. Thank you very much. Uh.